hello my friends thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jen and i love all things color we talk about makeup skincare and all things beauty to be honest and also my favorite topic which is physical sunscreen if you're in the market for mineral sunscreens for darker skin tones and or for any kind of skin tones for that matter i do have a playlist i will leave it down below uh, it basically contains every sunscreen that I have tried, so reviewed and demoed and whatnot. So that's an interesting, very fun playlist to go through. So I will leave that playlist down below. But for today, we are talking strictly about makeup. Uh, this is a brand new launch, a lipstick launch from a brand that hasn't been seen on my channel for what, like three years now? Not, this is, oh wait, let me tell you. This is a Makeup Forever. You guys remember that lips. Hang on, am I holding it upside down? I think so. Yeah, like that. Uh, it's not like I kind of like we grew apart or I dislike the brand. But I don't know what happened. Maybe they are, they are constantly coming out with complexion products. Just I don't wear complexion products in general. A foundation or a primer or a concealer of that sort. So I just stick with my sunscreen and just dust it with some powder i i lean more towards color makeup you know like blush highlighter lipstick so i just like you like to use sunscreen for my face and just like leave it at that just set my face of course and leave it at that so maybe they kind of fell off my radar because they are doing complexion i'm not sure if you use complexion products let me know if makeup forever is very active and it's like product launch and stuff like that or no have they gone kind of inactive but i just saw this and i definitely wanted to give it a try and this is called rouge arte art artist not artiste artist forever a matte so that's a liquid lipstick and it has like a brush stroke like that and i was interested they had so many reds so many different kinds of red I believe rouge art art artists maybe they, that's why it's lots of red so this retails for 25 dollars it is kind of expensive you don't get a lot you get 4.5 milliliters i would say a good good like a generous amount would be i, I wouldn't say six m milliliters is generous it's it's a good amount six milliliters uh i believe um I was I just want to say Kat Von D, but it's KVD Beauties, those tattoo liquid lipsticks they give six milliliters. So I think that's a really good amount. Uh, but you get four mil four point five milliliters and uh it's for twenty-five dollars. Quite it, it is expensive, but Makeup Forever is an expensive brand. Everything from them is kind of on the expensive side, and this is made in Korea. Made in Korea, $25. And let's let me quickly tell you what this promises. It says that it is co-created with our makeup art artist, and it's meant. It says everywhere, twenty-four hour wear without like flaking, and it's smudge proof and transfer proof as well. So transfer proof liquid li lipsticks are coming back, I believe, because Urban Decay just recently launched their own. Where are you? It's just literally right here. Oh yeah, it's here. Makeup Forever, I'm sorry, uh, Urban Decay launched their new liquid lipsticks, which <laughs> I'm obsessed. I will leave the link down below because it's a must watch video to see how much I love it and everything. So I will leave that link down below. But I, I guess um, at least transfer proof lipsticks. Uh, Fenty Beauty came out with those transfer proof, uh, what are those, stains, I believe. So transfer proof lip where a lip uh, products are coming back so this is 24 hours that's what it promises and it says it is like boldest matte finish so it has a matte like a flat matte finish your old school liquid lipstick finish not the glossy but still transfer proof liquid lipstick this is the old school flat matte liquid lipstick and it says 24 hour it also talks about i that's why i actually got interested it, it says that it has a very unique applicator in it which kind of like serves as a, a reservoir if you will where it kind of like um keeps or make like stores the product as you dip it in and that way you don't have to go back and it also like gives an even application those are kind of like the main selling points 24 hour wear it has like a very unique applicator and then it gives you a beautiful 
matte finish very pretty um packaging because this could be compact right <laughs> this could be a really compact uh product i think because this is where the actual product lives but they a cap and i guess this is the applicator which is long which is actually good or is it good no right because you want like a smaller applicator that way you have control it's like too long it's like what am i doing but yeah that's what it looks like and very very pretty and made in korea right you get 4.5 milliliters 25 dollars let me quickly swatch oh wait smell it does have a smell to it it's kind of like it's kind of has this floral scent but some it could be even fruity i'm not sure i don't even know how to describe the scent but it has a scent to it and let me quickly also show you that applicator is a very chubby kind of a slanting applicator and you see this is it's brimming with product right it, this is that little reservoir that kind of like keeps the stores the product in and as you're apl applying it looks uh, you know that's that unique applicator so i have a little bit of hang on let me tell you what i have on my lips this merit beauty's tinted lip oil in the shade pink beet i'm taking it off Wait, first let me swatch it in my arm. Then we'll talk, do lip swatches as well, obviously. And then we'll talk about, look at that. That is, it's like almost like a sketch pen, you know, where it has like that felt tip, which kind of stores a little bit of ink, right? And as you're writing, that's how it gives that fluidity, right? Um, so this i feel that's that's the kind of inspiration what they have here so that is like burnt orange that's one that's the shade i got what did i get what is this called hang on it is called go what goji all the time sorry it's called goji all the time it's very small goji 320 goji all the time so let's just like swatch it on my lips and you'll see the color payoff unbelievable right very very pretty sorry this is washing off all right guys i am back i had a little bit of technical difficulties everything just like froze and stopped so i have my lipstick on and actually it's completely dried so let's do a quick um kiss test and let me show you if there's any transfer and then we'll talk about performance review and then then yeah that's it so this is like brand new just applied didn't drink water didn't eat nothing no disturbance or anything to the lips right so with that it has zero transfer not even a little bit near the lip line my lip line is like near the skin near the lip line is kind of more moisturized and always have some like a uh, sunscreen or uh, you know moisturizer that's why there'll be always a little bit of transfer near the lip line in general always but this one is completely dried down like a very flat matte finish that yeah so with this nothing even when i press my lips together nothing and even when i press my lips together there's a little bit of tackiness personally for me for a liquid lipstick the tackiness uh, like improves the moisture uh, the comfort to be honest how moisturizing it is it keeps your lips comfortable for a longer duration but this one doesn't really have that you know tackiness there's a little bit there it's not overly there i i would prefer an overly tacky liquid lipstick to be honest but this is there the tackiness is there but not too 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 much so there's it's not like completely dry i know uh, a lot of liquid lipsticks that are like completely dry when you press the lips together it's like it's like it's so so dry like i said <laughs> there's no other way to put it so but this is not completely completely dry but just uh so that's that's the first thing that i wanted to tell you guys and it has a flat matte finish and uh i have to talk about the wear time because 
I actually worked out with this because usually uh, Makeup Forever's la longevity in their liquid lipstick is long wearing. Actually, it's really, really good. I remember, actually, you know what? I remember their older formula. I actually, maybe I still do have their older formula. It's just a regular tube, like a cylindrical tube. It's more on the shorter side. They were drying. They were definitely drying. I remember that. These are not as drying as the, as the old ones. That's that much I can definitely guarantee. And it's actually much lighter and lightweight. I felt those were also completely opaque. Opacity is amazing. But they were kind of on the heavier side. Then this, the consistency was a little bit thicker. But still they were drying. This one is more, uh, you know, like not... It's a little thinner, I feel, than the older formula, but still it's a little bit, the comfort level is higher in this formula. There's that quick comparison that I wanted to put out. And then what else? Oh yeah, like I said, I worked out with these, not because I want to test it. I was, yeah, I, I guess I want to test it, test it. So I was drinking water throughout the workout, uh, just not like gulping, just like sips here and there. Definitely I would have taken like 10 sips of water. It was a 30 minute workout and I drank like probably took like 10 sips of water. When I came out of the workout, there wasn't much left to be honest. There were like patches missing. And so I would say, and I was drinking from a bottle. You know, it wasn't like a straw or like spout in the bottle where I would just like sip. It was like a bottle where I opened the cap and actually lifted the bottle and actually took a swing. So it is a uh, like proper proper bottle you know so i do feel uh 24 hour wear i don't know i mean i guess if you can maintain it for 24 hours carefully it would probably last but with eating and this is just like drinking from the water uh, drinking water right and so if you eat greasy food i think it would definitely wear off so there's that thing that i wanted to say and what else it's an all right formula. I'm not thoroughly impressed with it, to be honest, unless the, you, this is the finish you absolutely um, um, like love. Uh, you could go for it, but again, the formula is kind of on the expensive side, if you ask me. Yes, if you like manage it to keep it like this, it is completely transfer proof, sure. But if you like drink water and everything, the tr there is a little bit of transfer. So I quickly wanted to point that out and i'm still leaning towards and just floored by the urban decays formula to be honest but this is more like a glossy not a glossy finish it's more of like, like a satin finish and it is long lasting and it's transfer proof as well and it's definitely on the tackiness factor this definitely has a good like sufficient enough tackiness on the lips when you like press it together uh so there's that again this is not a bad formula at all but I just wouldn't give it an A+. Plus. You know, I would give the Urban Decay an A+, plus for sure. But this is not an A+. Plus. I would give this like a B. It's a good formula. Um, $25. I don't know. Unless this is what you want. You like a flat matte. Like a powder dry. Like a powdery kind of finish. That's what you want. Like an almost airbrush, right? It looks looks almost airbrush. Sorry, guys. Again, washing out so much. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to say. That's kind of like my final thoughts on the product. I definitely won't be purchasing other shades from uh, from Makeup Forever, but yeah, for but for Urban Decay, I will. I already have picked out colors from the Urban Decay one as well. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that video. It's really, really such a good product. Uh, so yeah, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say to be honest um so yeah i will see you guys very soon i really hope this video was helpful what do you guys think are you considering buying this product uh come say hi in the comment section i would love to meet you and i will see you guys very soon